Hello, David R. Becker here with the Becker Art Float Your Pigment Newsletter. Um, it comes out once a week, and if you'd like to sign up, go to my website at davidrbecker.com. Well, what we're going to show you today is a tip on how to uh, cut, or I should say rip, um, watercolor paper. Um, so you don't need a knife or a scissor or anything like that to cut your paper, your watercolor paper. I've got a 140 pound right here, and I've got 300 pound over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to rip it, basically, in a nice way. I, I learned this from Bob Burridge, who will be teaching along with myself at in July, at the end of the week, last week in July, at in Burbank, Vermont. Oh, no, Burlington, 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 Vermont, uh, for Holbein. And we do this every year at the end of July. But I took um, his workshop and he showed me how to cut paper like this. Or actually, it's rip paper like this. So what I did is I took one side, fold it over, take your palm, go over like that, take it inside out, do it again with your palm, just press on there. And this again is 140 pound. And then what you do is you hold your hand, hold over like this, point your finger at the part where you're going to be pushing into the into the board here. So what I do is I divide the paper here on this side, and as I push it down on the, on the board, I put my finger right here and I just push. And see how it just kind of rips there? You just keep on pushing right there, and it just kind of rips your paper. Now, of course, you can always just rip it like that, too. But that gives you a deckled edge, and it looks really nice that way. Now, that was 140. I'm going to try it now on 300 pound. A little bit thicker, but the same concept. Basically, you fold it in half. Got a little paint on the corner there. And so I'm just going to point corner to corner, press down. I use the palm of my hand just to push. It's a little bit tougher because this is thicker paper. And then you're going to fold it inside out, try it again, fold it like this, put your palm, just run it across there. And now, um, again, see how it's like a book? And you're going to hold it with your finger pointing towards the part you're going to push against the paper board here. And I um, take both sheets of paper and kind of spread them out, spread them out like this. And usually 300 pound paper pops. So I can just, again, put my one finger right here, and then it just, see how it just pops right there? And just kind of pops along. I'm just going to rip it like this, and there you go. You have a beautiful deckled edge, and no no knife or scissor needed. And you get a nice deckled edge that you can use for framing, um, floating your paint, painting instead of um, putting a mat on it. Anyways, well, that's uh, my tip for this week at your Filter Pigment Newsletter. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you want um, to get any more information or tips like this, go to my website at davidrbecker.com and sign up for my newsletter. Float your pigment. Thanks. Bye-bye.